In this video, we're going to be sketching y equals x squared plus 4 over x squared take away 8x. So first instinct is to try and factorise the numerator and denominator. Now, unfortunately, the numerator will not factorise. Okay? Um, so x squared plus 4 is how we're going to have to leave it. But the denominator factorises to x, x take away 8. OK, so first thing to draw on our sketch are any vertical asymptotes, which we know are going to occur when the denominator is 0, so that's at 0 and 8. So x equals 0 and x equals 8. Now the next thing to do is to work out where it crosses the x-axis, which is when y is 0, which is when the numerator is 0. However, the problem is that x squared plus 4 is always greater than 0 for all real values of x. So x squared plus 4 is greater than 0 for all real values of x. And so there are no points where it crosses the x-axis. Right, that's that bit. How about where it crosses the y-axis? Well, it doesn't cross the y-axis either because uh, there's a vertical asymptote there. Okay, x is 0, we're dividing by 0. So we're not crossing the x or y axis. Right, how about any horizontal asymptotes? Well, the order on the top and bottom of the polynomial, they're the same, so there will be a horizontal asymptote. Dividing top and bottom by x squared, we're going to get 1 over 1 plus, sorry, 4 over x squared, over 1 take away 8 over x. So that's going to tend to 1 as x tends to plus or minus infinity because the 4 over x squared and 8 over x will tend to 0. So y equals 1 is a horizontal asymptote. Now, we'd be interested to figure out where it's crossing the horizontal asymptote. So I'm going to put x squared plus 4 over x squared take away 8x equal to 1. I'm going to multiply up. I can take x squared from both sides. So dividing both sides by minus 8, I'm going to get x is equal to minus a half. So that is where we're crossing the horizontal asymptote. So x equals minus a half. OK. Right. So, uh, what does this graph look like? Well, we, it doesn't look like you've got much to go on, does it? OK. Um, but with a little bit of logic of what we found, um, we can't be coming up from this direction, otherwise we're going to cross the x-axis. There are no points of intersection with the x-axis. So we've got to be coming down this way. We've got to go through that point and minus a half. But we've also got to tend to y equals 1, and so it must come back on itself in order to tend towards that horizontal asymptote. OK? So it must do that. How about over towards the right? Well, it can't be doing this because we can't cross the x-axis, so it's got to be coming down and going that way. It can't be crossing y equals 1 and going back on itself because there's only one point of intersection with the horizontal asymptote. Right, how about in the middle? Well, let's try a value out. Let's try x equals 1, shall we? So when x is equal to 1, the numerator, I've got 1 squared plus 4, so that's going to be positive. And the denominator, I've got 1, so that's positive, times by 1 take away 8, which is negative. So we've got a positive divided by a negative, which is negative. And so we are down here. And so this is what the curve must look like. 